Hola amigos, welcome to the marsh. That right over there is the water. And that water is going, oh my gosh, mosquitoes are getting us. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go try our hand at the marsh. We're in Port O'Connor. We wanna show you all how we catch redfish in the marsh. It's been a long time. With all the rain, uh, I'm kind of like iffy, half and half. So who knows how it's gonna turn out. But what I do know, is that I want to catch fish. All right, so popping cork with an artificial shrimp. What we're gonna use with that, the equalizer. Look at that, Procure Shrimp Scent. This stuff is pretty genius. It's super sticky, so a little goes a long way and it lasts. Uh, hopefully that's gonna be the ticket to getting those pesky reds and whatever else is out there to bite that lure that I've been challenged to use for the month of September. I have yet to catch anything with that bad boy. We gotta hurry up and get to the marsh and see if these reds are biting before the sun comes up. So fishing from the Hobie Sport, I don't like it all that much, but when you have nothing else to use, well, you can't be choosy. Gosh, I'm scared the out of me. Thank goodness I had a grip on my phone. I honestly don't want to go any further in. I mean, I haven't heard anything that leads me to believe that they're in here. Last time I was out here in this marsh, uh, the conditions were completely different than what they are right now. Uh, the clarity of the water is really like a, a dark tea stain color. And uh, it was not like that when I was last out here. Uh, there's a very nasty stench to it as well. Uh, I wouldn't think that there's any fresh exposed mud or decaying oyster that's out of water because the water's a lot higher than it was last time. So we're going to hurry up, hightail it back to the truck and make our way over into the actual bay. Hopefully there's going to be more activity there. Only thing alive here are alligator gar and mullet. And that's not what we're after. Ugh. And we're off now. Holy cow, my glasses have just fogged up completely. Yeah, right here. I'm coming in slow. I'm waiting to see them again. Oh, there they go. Okay, I see them way up there now. Lots of grass, bro. These guys are shallow. Oh, there goes one right there. They're over here somewhere still. We just take our time. Let's wait till we see them. There they go. Whenever you're ready. I think I misled them. There we go. Got him. He's a little guy. At least he appears to be little. Yeah, he's a little fella. Get over here, son. Oh, we got a classic chicken right here. Super bronze color too. Ugh, look at that. Let's give ourselves some slack. Good eyes, Nick. Not bad, he's missing part of his dorsal. Check it out, on the hoagies. Well, you little butt nugget, here he is right here. He's just chilling, he's like, maybe if I don't move, he will not see me. There he goes. Dude's got a gangster lean, he's going towards you, Nick. See if you can catch him. <laughs> this guy always gets the job done. I think if we go slow through here, we'll probably see more. 
it is so scuffed up right there. So we've got to retie. And this hoagies, oh, I'm telling you what, these, that's my paddle tail of choice. There are tons of them out there, and I'm sure they all work. But oh my God, the confidence I have in this lure. It is simply amazing. I'm able to cast super far with the setup that I've got, and that's partially the reason why I was able to even fight that darn fish, because I could reach out there and touch him with this tiny little 1 8 ounce hook from Bass Assassin, and then the Hoagie Swimming Jack. Boy, my champion lure. Oh my gosh, amazing. We're ready to go. I got that lure back on. Everything is good. A nice uni to uni knot. That's why I use it. Uni to uni and then a, uh, a blood knot. Those are the two that I use. Hopefully the mullet doesn't spook them. All right, we're in casting distance. Nick is gonna see if he can get one to bite. There we go. There's the cast. <laughs> oh, they're right in front of us. Oh, dude, that's quite a few of them. Here we go. Gotcha. Sucker. coming straight it's coming straight at me double baby <laughs> oh hey get over here no shenanigans bro <laughs> oh my god I, I got me no mine's hey mine is not a juvie bro get over here I got me a pumpkin <laughs> Get inside here. No, mine's a slot, bro. Good job, brother. Oh, good eyeballs. All right. <laughs> yeah. The hoagies. Man, it's, oh, bro. Chill, man. Hey, that is uncalled for. I know. There's the pumpkin patch. We are in the pumpkin patch. Nice slot red right here. Ooh, oh, whoa, whoa. You just got the camera wet, I bet. Oh, he's spitting up. What do he spit up? I think he spit up tofu, bro. There we are. Look at that. That hoagie's getting it done. Yeah, this, this is a... A very long one right here 20 on the money oh, that is a beautiful dude this is pumpkin color right here pumpkin spice red thank you buddy thank you thank you thank you for f for fighting for biting for just chilling all right go <laughs> he's like Brr, brr, brr. Now he's playing possum. There he goes. There he goes. Tap him with the paddle. That'll set him straight. He's going straight over. I sent the torpedo to Nick. Way to go, brother. That's not stuff for me. <laughs> All right, everyone, after that catch right there, that was pretty much the end of the video. Unfortunately, my outro, the file was corrupted and uh, I didn't get to uh, save anything afterwards. Uh, there was a trip that myself and Nick went to El Campo to meet up with Dusty from Hoagie's Fishing Lures. So uh, I wanna throw a huge shout out to him and uh, also David Dura, one of the patrons. Uh, what they did for us is just simply amazing. Uh, Dusty is going to place my logo and Nick's logo on the packaging of some of the Hoagie Swimming Jacks. So be looking for that hopefully soon. Uh, they'll be in stores. And then David Dura, he is a patron that uh, helped 
the channel out immensely by creating that label that is going to be going on the packaging. So gentlemen, thank you so much. All right. Till next time, everyone. Tight lines. Like this.